Hey guys, good evening. As you can see, it's 12:29. I'm releasing a video tutorial real quick on how to install PS3 custom firmware 3.55 LV1, LV2, Peak Pug patched from Watan Greza. Um, what this firmware, well, what this custom firmware allows you to do is directly play backups from a backup manager on your PS3 without having to go through a hassle. So, in the description will be a download for the firmware. It's kind of blurry, but it says PS3, whatever I just stated a while ago. And after you download it, you're going to extract it. You're going to see a folder right here, ps 3 updatpup What you want to do now, you're going to need a flash drive. And when you plug in your flash drive, okay, you want to create a folder called PS3. Click on it. In that folder, you will create a folder called Update. Click on it. In that Update, you copy the PUP file from the download into there. After that, take your USB out, plug it into your PS3, the far right side USB. Ugh, let's find it. Wait for it. Okay. Now, it supports a certain list of model numbers. So guys, please listen. Okay, I'm in the description. I'm going to post a list of PS3 model numbers. If your model number does not have a yes by it, do not attempt this because it will break your system. Um, it supports all PS3 slims, but there's certain PS3 fats that does not get supported. So, after that's plugged in, um, currently I have GeoHot's Jailbroken 3.55 for the users who read my tutorial, other video, and jailbroke theirs. You can run it, you can just override it, you don't, you don't have to go back to the original firmware, you can do it directly. Sorry guys, once again my camera shut off. Um, after you copy the files to your USB stick in the PS3, then the update, and then the file, you plug your USB stick into the PS3. And just like any other system update, you go over. It's going to say it found 3.55. Just click X. Okay. Read the license agreement. Click accept. Click start. It's going to copy the data to the hard disk. It's been reported to be 100% safe. I have not received any complaints. I have not seen any complaints from people. Um, the people who complained of it being bricked or getting any problems are the people whose model number did not meet the requirements. That's why I tell you guys I'm going to post the requirement list in the description. So make sure you check for your model number. Okay, it's going to say check for updated data. Let it load for a while. Okay, and it says installing. Now any other up, any like any other update, you have to wait. So, guys, this is all you have to do. I mean, if you want me to go through it again, 
you download the files when you're extracted you're gonna see ps3 updat.pub okay USB drive you plug it in okay after you plug it in you create a folder called PS3 in caps click on that folder inside the PS3 folder you create a folder called updates in caps click on that folder in that folder you put the PS3 updat.pub okay after you copy it on there put it right back into PS3 and run the update like a normal update Ow. some people say listen carefully some people say that the PS3 does not detect the files on there what you gotta do is format the USB to make it FAT32 Ugh. let me show you real quick this is my other USB my e-machine my first video on jailbroken when I had the annoying voice some said this is what I use it came in handy for me so this is how you do it right click go to format now where it says file system make sure it says fat32 okay and you just format it if it's another type of file system make sure you check fat32 and your ps3 will detect it because that's the type of how should i say that's the type of usbs or media devices it detects for this type of stuff so i mean you know i have 10 minutes to record i'm not sure how long i've been recording right now but okay Wait for it. There we go. Now, guys, you need a specific backup manager to work for this. So, what I'm going to do is post the download to that backup manager in the description. Listen to me. What you're going to do, like any other backup manager, back up the game. Okay? keep a blu-ray disc in the drive okay now after the game is backed up you're gonna click load after you click load it's gonna take you to the XMB this menu right here and where you see the game that you already have in there it's not gonna be showing that game it's gonna be showing the game that you clicked load okay it's that simple I'm gonna release another video because I'm kind of tired right now but if y'all have any problems as usual post in the comment box or send me a message that is all from ps3 crucial source